I'm Fabio Guerini, Product Manager for MAPE's Sealing and Bonding Line. Today, I would like to present MAPIPFIX EP, a solvent-free epoxy chemical anchor for fastening threaded bars and rebar in any application situation and for any type of service. It comes with European ETA certification for use with cracked and non-cracked concrete, including in smooth, core-drilled holes and in Category C2 seismic risk zones. It's the ideal product for anchoring metal bars in dry, damp, wet and saturated substrates and even in substrates below the waterline. MAPIFIX EP maintains its workability for a long time and polymerizes quickly. It's the product that can solve every type of chemical anchoring problem on every building site. A typical certified application for MAPIFIX EP is anchoring threaded bars in concrete including large diameter bars. MAPIFIX EP is a two-component resin supplied ready to use. Remove the cap and screw on the static mixer supplied with the cartridge. The cartridge is also supplied with an extension tube for filling particularly deep holes. The product comes in two sizes, 385mm and 585mm, and a special manual, pneumatic or electric gun for biaxial cartridges is required. Thoroughly clean the inside of the hole to get rid of any loose or detached parts. When a new static mixer is used, always dispose of at least the first three shots of resin until you obtain a uniform grey colour. Immediately after this operation, inject the resin into the hole, starting from the bottom. Fill the hole to at least 60% of its capacity. Then immediately insert the metal bar into the fresh resin rotating it slowly to prevent air or any residual water getting trapped until all the excess resin has been expelled from the circular crown at the top. Once the resin is set, which takes between 10 and 20 hours at plus 20 degrees Celsius, MAPIFIX EP will have reached its maximum mechanical properties. Another typical certified application for MAPIFIX EP is anchoring metal bars, threaded bars and rebar in saturated holes and holes below the waterline, including large bars. Inject the resin into the hole, starting from the bottom to expel all the water. Completely fill the hole. Insert the metal bar into the fresh resin, rotating it slowly to prevent water getting trapped until all the excess resin has been expelled from the circular crown at the top. 